Have you ever wondered why your aquarium water turns cloudy? Why your fish seem sluggish? Or why algae takes over your tank? The answer might be simpler than you think. Water changes. Today, we are diving into the science of water changes, why they're so important, what happens when you don't do them, and how to keep your aquarium world thriving. Let's get started. So first off, why do we need water changes? In nature, water is constantly refreshed by rain, rivers, and currents. But in an aquarium, everything stays trapped. The fish waste, leftover food, and even invisible toxins. Let's break it down. Nitrate buildup. Fish produce waste, which turns into ammonia. Beneficial bacteria converts into nitrite, and then into nitrate, but nitrates don't disappear. Toxic chemical accumulation. Tap water contains heavy metals, chlorine, and other compounds, which can slowly build up over time, which is also why it's extremely important to make sure you condition your water before you add it into your tank. pH hardiness shifts. Without water changes, your tank's pH and mineral balance can shift unpredictably making the environment unstable for your fish. Think of it as breathing in a room that's never been aired out. It gets stuffy fast. So what exactly happens if you skip water changes? After one week, nitrates rise, but everything seems fine. Week two, water starts turning yellowish, algae appears. And week three and more, the fish can be sluggish, some may stop eating. Long term, Poor water quality leads to disease, shorter lifespans, and even fish deaths. Skipping water changes is a slow, silent problem. You might not see all the effects immediately, but your fish definitely can feel it. How often should you do a water change? It will depend on your tank. So smaller tanks under 10 gallons would need at least a 25-50% to 50 of water per week. Medium tanks, which is around 10 to 50 gallons, 20 to 30 percent per week, and larger tanks, 50 gallons and plus, you will need to do 10 to 20 percent weekly or bi-weekly. The more heavily stocked your tank is with fish, the more water you should take out. For planted tanks, I recommend taking out less water, but it all depends on the tank size. Remember to always test your water first. If nitrates are climbing above 40 ppm, it's time for a change. The right way to change water. Water changes aren't just removing water, it's about doing it right. The first step I recommend doing is scraping the sides of the tank for algae. It just makes the tank look so much better and so much cleaner. And this way, when you are vacuuming up your tank, you can easily remove those particles if you vacuum out your tank first before scraping for algae and other debris around the tank, the water change was basically just a waste as you pretty much just put more waste into the water column. After removing the algae from the glass, you want to use a gravel vacuum to remove waste from the substrate. If you have snails like me, you will know that snails produce a ton of poop and it looks terrible. As you know, if the poop breaks down into the water, it creates ammonia, so you want to make sure you get most, if not all, of the snail poop up, and also fish waste. Don't forget about any extra debris, especially with fly plants. You will have dead or decaying plants into your tank. Next, you would add some tap water into a bucket and make sure you use a dechlorinator before adding it into your tank. Here is a pro tip for you guys, never change 100% of the water at once unless it's an emergency. It removes all the beneficial bacteria, it can stress your fish out so much, and it can go into shock and die. And now I'm going to be debunking three myths about water changes. Myth 1. My water looks clear. It's so clean. Nitrates and toxins are invisible. Clear water doesn't mean safe water. 
Myth two, water changes mess up my cycle. Nope, your beneficial bacteria lives mostly in your filter and substrate, not the water itself. And myth number three, I can just top off the water instead. That only replaces evaporated water, not the pollutants. Water changes might seem like a chore, because it is, and it's your pet, and you have to care for it, but it's like the key to having a healthy and thriving aquarium. By keeping up with them, you'll have happier fish, better water quality, and fewer problems in the long run. So, how often do you change your water? Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and happy fish keeping!